Does the multi-year deal with Lawrence and Major League Fishing mean forward-facing sonar is staying? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor. Click that like and subscribe button. Let me say thank you to all the new subscribers, all the people who constantly comment, and just are awesome on this channel. I really do appreciate it, and I am humbled, and it's something that I just never expected. So thank you, but if you're not part of the team, click that subscribe button, become part of the team and family, and thank you. Recently, Major League Fishing announced a multi-year sponsorship deal with Lowrance. And this deal covers the BPT or the Bass Pro Tour. It covers the general team tires, team series events, and the heavy hitters. It also means that Lowrance and Mercury will be named as the presenting sponsor to some of the BPT events in 2025. And I'm going to read it. This allows for brands to be prominently displayed during events TV shows, internet, and more. But what does this mean for forward-facing sonar in the Major League Fishing events? First, money talks. That's what we have to remember. If someone's gonna put the money towards the Bass Pro Tour or the heavy hitters or the team trail, Major League Fishing has to take it. This is something that we've said nonstop. Money runs the ship and they can't just throw part of that money away. Sponsorships help pay for the people that put the stuff on the internet and pay for the cameraman, and pay for a lot of things that we take for granted. But this is a good deal for Major League Fishing. And my suggestion is to Major League Fishing would be to show the anglers how to communicate properly because forward facing sonar is gonna stay for some time. If Major League Fishing can teach the anglers how to not only fish, look at their video screen and talk at an angle to the cameraman, I think people will be more open to watching more fishing. I see forward-facing sonar as anglers and fans getting to see the back of an angler's shirt. And quite honestly, the back of the shirt is probably more important than the front of the shirt for sponsorships. But as these cameramen are on boats, I think it would be proper to not only teach the anglers what they need to say, but also teach the cameraman a little bit more on what they are looking at, at what, the, what they're seeing or what the angler is seeing and how they're fishing. I, I think asking simple questions from the cameraman to the angler that is fishing will help make fishing a little bit more exciting because we can admit watching an angler with forward-facing sonar or fishing forward-facing sonar is absolutely boring. And I say this as a joke, this helps Randy as much as anybody because Randy makes a video almost daily about forward-facing sonar and he's he's allowed to. You have to give it up for to Randy for the amount of work that he puts into his channel and the conviction that he has against forward-facing sonar and never backtracking. But as much as he might not like the deal, the deal also brings more content for him in the future. And that is not any shade at Randy at all. But now he has a couple more years to talk about it. Now where does this leave the rest of the community or the rest of the organizations? I still do believe, and mark my words, one of the organizations will make a big change in forward-facing sonar. I do think that one of the organizations is going to make a drastic change in the technology. And mark my words, today is August the 6th. I think over the next couple few weeks, someone is going to say, we need to make a change. And when they make that change, I hope that the anglers that are unhappy with what has gone on with technology and forward-facing sonar support those organizations or that organization. Because technology and forward-facing sonar has been the single biggest issue in fishing over the last year, year and a half. Either you use it or you don't use it. And those anglers that are not using it are getting their asses handed to them. And like it or dislike it, when Lawrence decides they're going to put a multi-year deal with Major League Fishing, I can honestly say it's not going anywhere. But that doesn't mean Major League Fishing can't do something with some of the lower tier stuff and put, put it in place where they're banning some of the technology or having it on certain days. Maybe they can use it during practice. Maybe they can use it on the even days. Maybe they can use it on the odd days. Whatever it is, some sort of change needs to happen with forward-facing sonar. And when it does happen, either to Major League Fishing or Elites or NPFL or the TAA or whatever it is, the Alabama Bass Trail, whatever it is, 
we need to get behind it and show support to that organization because they're making they're drawing a line in the sand and saying look unfortunately now we cannot take sponsorships from those forward-facing sonar organizations or businesses but it's coming it is coming so what do you think is randy gonna be upset about this i think so but at the same time i think he's made big progress in showing why he believes it shouldn't be in tournament fishing there's other people that say the exact opposite but it's up to you so you tell me what you think in the comments below thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button i really do appreciate it remember take a kid fishing get your fish on if you see a change somewhere in here my battery died i'll talk to you soon cheers